In this video, I want to talk about a viral marketing strategy that's super powerful and also a little bit controversial. Now, when you watch this video, you know, this may resonate with you, it may not. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section down below there. Uh, but basically, this is a marketing strategy that does work. So you can kind of decide whether you want to implement this or not. And I'm going to give you my personal opinions about it after we finish the video. So this method, I'm going to call it the DIS method. And it's very simple the way that this works. What you're going to do is you're going to find somebody that's an authority in your market. Okay, so you could say like Brendan Mace. I don't have a massive YouTube channel or anything like that. I do make a lot of money online, but I wouldn't consider myself a big brand. But for the sake of simplicity, we'll use my name as an example. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to create a controversial diss message against a major brand. Okay. So you would create a video or a blog post saying like Brendan Mace is a scammer, something like that, right? Now, the purpose of this, the point of this is because so much traffic is heading towards these major brands. And probably a better example of this is like Ty Lopez, who has a much bigger channel, right? Ty Lopez has 1.2 million subscribers. So you say like Ty Lopez is a scammer. If I type this into the Google search, search box here, you're going to find videos with really big views, okay? You can see this one here has 25,000. Uh, this video right here is Ty Lopez a scammer. That's 678,000 views. Uh, this Mike Vesti video right here, uh, 334,000 views, 62,000 views, 6.4 million views, okay? So and you can actually see my video here. I attempted to do this and it didn't work out as well for me. It's about the only time that I've ever uh, tried to do something uh, like the DIS method. I do know it works if you execute it in the right way and it can really take off and you have a good shot of going viral. Now, you really have two ways of doing this. First of all, you could actually verify like, hey, this person actually is a scammer. This person is actually horrible. Here's how why they're a scammer. You do something like that or you could flip it and do a kind of a typical sort of like lame click banky thing where you say, oh, like you came to this video to see if Ty Lopez is a scammer. Of course he's not a scam. Like you can definitely flip it around with your marketing message if you want. The point is, is that you're capitalizing on a lot of traffic. So can we think of other examples where this is done in the real world and people have gotten massive benefits from this? Well, if you listen to rap, and uh, I don't listen to a lot of rap, but I listen to a little bit of it. There's something that happened very recently, depending on when you're watching this video. So if you're watching this video today, it's October 19th, uh, 2018. Uh, basically, Eminem is a very popular, famous rapper. And there was a very sort of like l much lesser famous rapper named Machine Gun Kelly. Okay. Now, I don't know if you know about this story or not. Maybe tell me in the chat box if you've or in the comment section down below there if you've heard of this story. But Machine Gun Kelly essentially created a diss. Now, if you actually search Machine Gun Kelly, you're going to see his diss basically show up at the top here with actually a, a crazy amount of views. You got 143 million views here. Now, Machine Gun Kelly would never be able to get those kind of views, but he's able to in this case because he's leveraging a much bigger traffic source than his audience, okay? He's leveraging the audience of people that know about Eminem, okay? And of course, millions of people know about Eminem. He's one of the most famous rappers of all time. And actually, in this is the response that Eminem did. It's a music song called Kill Shot, where he basically disses Machine Gun Kelly back and responds to Machine Gun Kelly's diss. Now, in the actual song itself, Eminem says, you know, like, the only reason we're talking about you right now is because of me. You know that you're creating this out of clickbait, but okay, fine. You got it. I'm going to respond to you anyways. One of the lines that he says is like, um, you know, in diss songs, they're basically making fun of the opponent that they're talking about. One of the lines he says, I had to give you a career to destroy it. Now, what he's saying, Eminem, when he says that, is basically like he's giving... Uh, Machine Gun Kelly everything that he basically has because Machine Gun Kelly wouldn't even be on the map, wouldn't even be on the radar 
if it wasn't for bringing up Eminem's name in the first place, okay? Now, I don't necessarily know if it really worked out overall for Machine Gun Kelly. I know his his uh, his album actually didn't sell that well. But the point was, was that he actually got a lot of traffic to his ultimate product, which in this case is his album, okay? Now, he probably didn't have that great... I don't really follow... I don't follow Machine Gun Kelly, so I don't really know... He probably didn't have that great of a product, which is probably why, even with all that attention, he didn't really do that well with it. But, on the other hand, if you do a good job of not just, you know, attracting the attention, but you take that attention, you leverage it, and you actually manage to, you know, attract fans. Because at the end of the day, when it comes to business and viral marketing strategies... It's not just about getting attention. That's only half of the half of the formula, right? The first half is attention. The second half is actually conversions and converting people into your tribe, into your family, into people that actually become buyers or followers of you. Okay. So if you're just gonna get attention but in a bad way, you know, it's a, you know, you're gonna get a lot of attention, but you're really not gonna do too much with it, right? This the second part of the equation is getting that attention. And then turning it into something, leveraging it in a really powerful way. So this is a very simple business. What you really want to do is you just want to brainstorm and research who are the biggest names, who are the biggest brands in your business, okay? And then think of a way that you can sort of like clickbaity, get people to click your video by stirring up some kind of controversy. Now, there's a guy in Make Money Online. His name's King Human. He's actually a really good friend of mine. And, uh, you know, King Human has 130,000 subscribers. He's one of the first people to get onto YouTube in a big way when he was just getting started. And he has told me many times that people would contact him to try and create a fake controversy. Now, why they wanted to create sort of like a fake feud with him and another YouTuber so that they could create sort of a controversy and a buzz around that fight and try and build some fans uh, either way, right? So it definitely does happen on a regular basis. It happens lots of times. People don't even realize it's happening. It's a major marketing strategy that powerful marketers know about and are implementing. I'm going to give you one more example, and then I'll tell you my thoughts on it. So another example is there's a YouTuber. I forget what his name. I you know I don't really follow this stuff at all, but the guy with the Japanese, uh, he went into a Japanese suicide forest and made fun of it. I forget the YouTuber... A Japanese suicide. I'll put this up and then it'll it'll come up with who it is. Uh, Logan Paul, that's who it was. So Logan Paul versus KSI, okay? So these are two essentially YouTubers. And by YouTubers, they're basically marketers because YouTubers are marketers, right? They're trying to grow their audience as big as possible, attract more fans, and then make money off of that. Now... Both of these guys stirred up a feud where they pretended to really hate each other. And what they did was then they created a fight or a spectacle where people would have to pay like a pay-per-view to watch them fight. Now, when you actually watch this fight, okay, I don't recommend that you do because it's really boring. If you actually watch this fight, it's very obvious that the whole thing was completely manufactured and staged from the very beginning. And they actually end up making the fight end in a tie because it was never actually a real fight at any point anyways, okay? The point is that they're stirring up controversy by pretending to, you know, diss or dislike or create some kind of controversy or drama and then leverage that to either monetize it or grow their fan base following, okay? Now, I don't really like this marketing method personally, okay? I did it one time before, saw that video earlier in this video. It's not really for me because I'm more of a positive person. I don't really like being negative. And even then, you can still do the flip thing where you sort of say, like, is Ty Lopez a scammer? And then you get to the video and you say, of course Ty Lopez is not a scammer. Like, Ty, Ty Lopez, of course you could do that where you have sort of a positive spin, but then you're being super clickbaity, right? Like you're mis misrepresenting yourself, you're misleading people in order to get the traffic and to get that conversion. Now, this is a viral marketing strategy that 100% works. 
it doesn't personally resonate with my personality and who I am. Uh, but that means at the same time, I can't deny that this is something that can be super effective and that people will gen like really good marketers will legitimately use in a super powerful way. So I want to have your feedback on it. Let me know in the comment section, you know, is this a marketing strategy that you've thought of before? Is Did you learn about it in this video? And what are your thoughts about this marketing strategy? Do you like it? Does it resonate with you? Is it something you can implement in your business and actually grow a following with? Okay, simple little video, guys. Just wanted to tell you about this marketing strategy. Uh, open up a dialogue about it so we can kind of discuss it in the comments down below there. And hope you enjoyed it. Hope wherever you are in the world, you're smiling. And I will talk to you in the next video.